Top 10 Symptoms of a Bad Engine Electronic Control Unit or Control Module The Engine Electronic Control Unit, ECU, or Control Module is a computerized system that controls and manages the various functions of the engine, such as fuel injection, ignition timing, and emissions control. It receives input from various sensors and makes adjustments to ensure optimal engine performance and efficiency. The ECU is typically located in the engine compartment and is connected to a network of sensors that monitor various engine parameters such as engine speed, throttle position, air intake temperature, and coolant temperature. The ECU uses this information to calculate the correct fuel injection timing, ignition timing, and other parameters that affect engine performance. The ECU also controls emissions by monitoring the output of the engine and adjusting the fuel injection and ignition timing to reduce harmful emissions. This is done through a series of sensors that monitor exhaust gases and other emissions-related parameters. In addition to controlling engine performance and emissions, the ECU can also store diagnostic codes that can be accessed by a mechanic or technician to diagnose problems with the engine. These codes can indicate issues with sensors, fuel injectors, or other components of the engine. The ECU is a critical component of modern engines, allowing for precise control and optimization of engine performance and emissions. As engines become more complex, the role of the ECU will only become more important in ensuring reliable and efficient operation. Here are the top 10 symptoms of bad ECU. 1. Engine misfires. One of the most common symptoms of a bad engine electronic control unit, ECU, or control module is engine misfires. This occurs when the ECU fails to properly regulate the fuel and air mixture, causing the engine to run poorly. 2. Engine stalling. A faulty ECU can also cause the engine to stall or shut off unexpectedly, especially when idling or at low speeds. 3. Poor fuel economy. A malfunctioning ECU can cause the engine to consume more fuel than usual, leading to poor fuel economy. 4. Check engine light. If the ECU detects a problem with the engine, it will trigger the check engine light on the dashboard. 5. Reduced power output. A bad ECU can cause the engine to lose power and acceleration, making it difficult to drive at high speeds. 6. Rough idle. A faulty ECU may also cause the engine to idle roughly or erratically, making it difficult to keep the vehicle running smoothly. 7. Ignition Problems On most modern engines, the ECU controls the ignition timing and spark plug firing order, so a malfunctioning ECU can cause ignition problems such as hard starting or no start. 8. Transmission Problems on some vehicles, the ECU also controls the transmission shifting, so a bad ECU can cause transmission problems such as slipping or shifting too early or too late. 9. Overheating. A malfunctioning ECU can cause the engine to overheat due to improper fuel and air mixture or incorrect timing. 10. Electrical issues. A bad ECU can also cause various electrical problems such as flickering lights, dimming headlights, or dead batteries. What can cause the engine control unit to go bad? There are several factors that can cause the engine control unit, ECU, to go bad, including 1. Electrical problems. The ECU relies on a steady supply of voltage and current to function properly. Electrical problems such as voltage spikes, power surges, or short circuits can damage the ECU. 2. Moisture or water damage. Moisture or water can seep into the engine compartment and damage the ECU, especially if the vehicle is driven through deep water or exposed to heavy rain. 3. Overheating. The ECU is located in the engine compartment and can be exposed to high temperatures. Overheating due to a malfunctioning cooling system or other factors can damage the ECU. 4. Physical damage. The ECU is a sensitive electronic component and can be damaged by physical impact, such as a collision or a hard bump. 5. Manufacturing defects. 
In rare cases, the ECU may have manufacturing defects that can cause it to fail prematurely. 6. Age and wear. Like any electronic component, the ECU can wear out over time due to age and use. This can cause it to malfunction or fail completely. 7. Software errors. The ECU runs on software that controls various engine functions. If there are errors in the software, it can cause the ECU to malfunction or fail. 8. Corrosion. Corrosion can occur on the ECU's connectors and wiring, which can cause electrical problems and lead to ECU failure. 9. Improper installation. If the ECU is not installed properly, it can cause damage to the unit and lead to failure. 7. Use a qualified mechanic. Have any repairs or maintenance done by a qualified mechanic who is familiar with the ECU and its components. 8. Check for recalls. Check for any recalls related to the ECU and have them addressed promptly. 9. Keep the battery charged. Ensure that the battery is charged and in good condition to prevent damage to the ECU. 10. Avoid DIY repairs. Avoid attempting DIY repairs on the ECU or its components as this can cause further damage. 11. Monitor warning lights. Pay attention to any warning lights on the dashboard and have them checked immediately to prevent further damage to the ECU. 12. Store properly. If storing your vehicle for an extended period, ensure that it is stored in a dry, cool place to prevent damage to the ECU. 13. Address issues promptly. If you notice any issues with the ECU or other components, have them addressed promptly to prevent further damage and costly repairs. If you suspect that your engine electronic control unit, ECU, or control module is faulty, there are a few steps you can take to repair or fix it. 1. Diagnose the problem. Before attempting any repairs, it's important to diagnose the problem with the ECU. You can use an OBD2 scanner to read the error codes and determine the issue. 2. Replace faulty components. If the problem is caused by a faulty component within the ECU, such as a damaged capacitor or resistor, you may be able to replace it yourself. However, this requires advanced knowledge of electronics and soldering skills. 3. Clean the ECU. Sometimes, the problem may be caused by dirt or debris on the ECU's circuit board. You can clean the board using a soft brush and electronic cleaner. 4. Reset the ECU. If the problem is minor, you can try resetting the ECU by disconnecting the battery for a few minutes. This will clear any error codes and reset the ECU to its default settings. 5. Seek professional help. If you're not confident in your ability to repair the ECU, or if the problem is more serious, it's best to seek professional help from a mechanic or auto electrician. They have the tools and expertise to diagnose and repair complex issues with the ECU. Overall, it's important to take good care of your vehicle's ECU to prevent damage and costly repairs. Regular maintenance, careful driving, and prompt attention to warning lights can help keep your ECU in good condition for years to come. That's all we have for you in today's video. It's very good to have you here on our channel. If you like the video, please smash the like button and do consider subscribing if you haven't already. We hope to see you soon with another video, until then, stay safe.